I come in with a force, yes. Blessing to your reaper with poison and food. Oh, in a right on post. Yeah, we give thanks that we need it the most. Yeah, we give thanks that we What's today? Monday. Sunday. What did I do Sunday? Didn't do anything really. I just took off the last. I think I just really just relaxed. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like I've just really been on the go and doing a whole bunch of stuff because that was my first full week here in Dallas. So I kind of just took some time to myself and did a little bit more around the house. I did get my bed and I got my coffee table. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So how cute is this coffee table? I built it myself, okay? And I love how it has this little storage place. And then we also have push out drawers as well for more storage. So I have a lot of storage in this living room space. Like there's tons of storage in there. Um, but yeah, I just love how it came out. And I got this from Homery. I'll leave it in the link below for you guys to check them out. I love this coffee table and it actually goes really great with my space. Like I am loving this space, you guys. Let me know how y'all feel about these mirrors here. I can't hang them, but my mom said they don't look too bad, but I have nowhere else to put these mirrors and I love these mirrors and it actually goes, like the color is like a bronze. It actually goes, but I can't hang because I can't hang this one because this is where I have the main light switch for in this room and this is also where I turn on the ceiling fan and the light for on my balcony. So let me know what I should do, you guys. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like from this angle. How does it look even though it's not hung up on the wall? Let me know your thoughts on that. Also, I want to get a little pot. I think I want to do like gray. So everything is just not so matchy. I think I want to do gray, a gray pot for this um, olive tree. I actually think I'm going to leave it because it definitely kind of brings it all together, gives it a little bit of greenery. So I think I found one on Amazon I like. Let dresser because I was thinking of putting a dresser in my closet, which I'll show you guys to kind of show you. Um, don't mind, I have not even gotten to my clothes yet. But right here, I'm thinking I could put like on, you know, either right here or like on this side, I can put like a little dresser in here. So it kind of is like hidden a bit, give me a little bit more space. So I'm still deciding. And then I'm also thinking of putting like a little end table right here or just like a chair because I also have found that I'm probably gonna do a lot of my TikTok videos <clears throat> in the bathroom. And I'm thinking maybe if I just get like a chair to put right here instead of having to always get my chair from my beauty room and dragging it in here, I'm thinking maybe I can get me a nice little light chair to put here and then also be able to sit down when I am filming my content. So. Yeah, that is that. So yeah, that's kind of like the update on what I've done so far. I have my other bar stool that I have yet to build because I had someone build these and I'm like, okay, am I gonna pay someone just to come out here and build one bar stool? I already built my coffee table myself. Y'all, I have spent so much money within the span of two weeks um, for this move on top of what I had to pay for the move. So, you know. Um, I'm just getting everything that's really important right now to me at least so yeah that is that um, but I think that it is 5 30 and I wanted to go to the pool today but this I'm telling you this video was just taking so long to do on top of like having issues with storage on my computer but um, I'm debating if I still am gonna go down by the pool Cause it is so hot but you know i kind of still want to get a tan i don't want to just be at the pool and not you know getting any benefits out of it so i'm thinking i'm gonna do that um i'm so deciding i need to figure out what i'm eating for dinner because all i did was pick up some um queso from flower child today on my way home for the nail shop because y'all i can't stop eating that queso i literally get it probably once a week it is the best queso I've had, and I'm a queso girl. If you have a flower child by you or ever buy a flower child, go and grab the queso and let me know. I put you on because it is so good, you guys. Um, oh, I did stop at Target, and I got a few dresses. A lot of their dresses were like 30% off and were on sale. So actually, I think I'm going to try on those for you guys right now because I did do that earlier after the nail shop. But I'm trying to get back into going to work out and you guys know i have a gym here i have a pilates uh studio here well it's own pilates like room 
So I have a sauna, steam room, all of that. So I'm trying to get back into my wellness, fitness. And I think I'm gonna sign up for a Legree class tomorrow. Also, I wanna get back into hot yoga. I found two that I wanna check out. The only thing is when I was going to Yonder in Atlanta, I always would do the 7.30 p.m. candlelit class, which was vinyasa. And then like towards the end, it was just like yin. And that class that's similar to that at the ones I've looked at were like at 8.30 to 9.30. And mine in Atlanta was always 7.30 to 8.30. And I felt like that was the perfect time to wind down for bed. And I just feel like 8.30 to 9.30 is kind of like late because even though it's not too far by the time i get home it's gonna be like 10 o'clock and it's like 10 o'clock like do i really want to do that you know what i mean but i just feel like 8 30 is just kind of late getting home 9 30 well leaving 9 30 getting home at like 10 ish i don't know we'll see maybe it will work out because i really don't be going to sleep until like midnight anyway especially here lately y'all my schedule has been a lot better than it was in Atlanta. I'm loving that. I'm going to sleep way earlier than I was. I'm waking up way earlier than I was. I am just loving this new vibe I'm on. Okay, this new energy all over. I am loving it, okay? Like, I really feel like, okay, I'm a grown-up now, and I am, like, going to bed at a reasonable time, waking up at a great early time. And I'm loving that my body naturally is getting tired around the same time now, and I'm not just up. And I'm trying to stay on that path. And 12 may be late for y'all, because some of y'all be going to bed, I think like 9, 10, which I wish I was at 10 p.m. at least. I feel like 9 is still a little early, but 10, 10, 30, 11 would be perfect. But I'm not mad at 12 because, girl, I was going to sleep 2, 3 a.m., okay? That's a huge difference. So I've been loving that vibe that I've been on. So while I'm waiting for this, I'll go ahead and try on the dresses and show y'all what dresses I did get from Target today. I got a few and I've been loving dresses like this because um, I've been loving dresses like this because it's so hot in Dallas in the summertime. I like to just really have something to throw on, especially in this heat, not really having to think about it too much. Actually, let me put y'all over here. I got a few actually. And I also picked up, I don't know if I showed y'all, but y'all, I bought these pajama pants that actually I would wear as regular pants to like throw on, but I got these from Target and they're so soft. I got them in a size small and they're so comfortable. I washed them already like twice because I just love them and I don't dry them because I do feel like it's a material that will kind of shrink and get like high water. So I would recommend not drying these, but I picked up another pair of these, this color, which is like a cream beige color. And then I also picked it up in this gray color as well. So I'll just try them on so you guys can see them. So here's the gray ones. These pants are just so soft. I love them. They have a drawstring. They're long. Like, I just love them. Love them. Maybe it's like the colors, but like this pair is longer than my other ones. A little bit. I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like I really hope I did not dry those. Oh my gosh. They're not completely dry, but Okay, good, they did not shrink. But they're longer. They're like longer for some reason. That's so weird. But yeah, these are the ones, thank God, they did not dry all the way. But definitely would recommend not drying them. Also like, I feel like with me drying them, they kinda get that like more fuzzy look and I don't really like that where they look a little more worn. So I would definitely recommend air drying these. But yeah, they're super comfortable. And these ones, I wonder why these ones are a bit longer, I feel like. But they're so soft, you guys. I also got this dress that I've been eyeing every every time that I've gone to Target for the last five, 10 times recently. And I'm so glad I got these. They were on sale for on sale for $19.60. They were originally $28. And I got them in a small, I got this also in black as well and I love I can just throw this on 
and it's great for like daytime running errands too because um, I love things that aren't like super cleavagey when running errands. So I love that. I have a bra on with this right now, which I like that. I can get away with kind of wearing a bra. You don't really see it. Cause I don't have the girls done. So I like that. Here's the next dress. I love this dress. This is such a classy girl dress, but you also can like, you can throw this on too as like a go around throw on dress. Cause it's not super tight fitting. It's very flowy. My camera died for the last dress. This is the last dress. And I got this in a extra small because this was literally the only one. I just literally saw it while leaving the dress area. And this is so cute. Super, super cute. Got all of these from Target. I'm gonna cut these, but it also has straps back there, adjustable straps. Love this. Y'all know one thing about it. I am gonna be getting sleepwear basic wear, everything from Target. Food, toiletries, everything. Makeup, I'm a Target girl. I always will be a Target girl, okay? My mom the other day said something about Walmart when I was in Atlanta and I was like, mom, there was not really many Walmarts that were close to me in Atlanta, but I did realize that actually for those last three years I was living in um, Atlanta, there was a Walmart by me, but I never went. Like it was literally like two minutes from Target and I'm a Target girl. Sorry, call me bougie, but I'm a Target girl. And I don't think there's a Walmart that's too far from here, but unless I need to go to Walmart for something specific, which I have before, catch me at your local Targets because I go to them all, okay? <laughs> so I'm about to finish the touches to my vlog and then see what the rest of the day takes me, but don't, don't expect too much, okay? Morning. So I just got out the shower. It's um about to be, or it's only 10.30. I thought it was like a little later than that. It's only 10.30, I just got out the shower, just did my skincare routine. I'm about to uh, throw on this workout set and then me and Louie are gonna go walk to the coffee shop, get us some coffee, finish up some editing for the vlog that I said I was gonna post yesterday, but there are some tweaks that I need to finish. So that should be posted today. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go do that, get some coffee, finish the edits. I wanna go lay out at the pool today and um, deciding if I wanna do, pick up any groceries, cause I don't know what I'm gonna cook for dinner tonight. Um, and I ran out of a few things that I need, so I'm deciding if I'm gonna go back to Central Market. So yeah, just wanted to say good morning and I will catch you guys in a little bit. So I actually decided not to put on a workout set because I didn't really want to put on anything tight. So I just have on this Zara tank with these. I believe I got these at Abercrombie and Fitch maybe like two summers ago, these shorts. So yeah, I'm gonna go on with this Nest Balinese coconut spray. I have not been able to put this down. You guys may have seen on TikTok. I did a sponsored content video with Ness and y'all, I just love decent, y'all. And then I also went ahead and put on a little bit of this Jo Malone uh, Peony, Peony and Blush Wade, Blush Wade Body Cream. This is one of my favorite scents from Jo Malone and this is a very moisturizing body lotion. Um, I like to keep it up here on my um, counter because I don't really like to keep a lot of things on my counter but I like to keep it up here on my counter because it also it looks good <laughs> but um it looks good but it also I like to use it like as a hand cream once I'm done with you know all my lotions and stuff and put on the hand cream so yeah I'm about to put on some um some ASICs and then we're gonna head out the door and go get coffee and take my boo on a little walk but it's so hot outside y'all. I don't really like to keep him out there too long because also I have to realize his paws are probably really hot from how hot it is outside here. But it's still pretty early so he, he's fine. But I feel like around like one, two, three, between one to like five, it's extremely hot for his little paws. Hey guys, so this is my little outfit. Me and Kayla are supposed to be getting lunch a little bit, probably like in another hour and a half. Uh, I have on these 860s and one of my favorite pairs right now. Um, but yeah, this is my outfit. We're gonna go walk and get 
He's so excited. We're gonna go walk and get some coffee in the meantime. And I'm deciding if I'm gonna change or just keep this on. But I just wanted something comfortable right now just to go walk. Um, so I might put on like one of those dresses I showed you from Target um, to go get something to eat. Or I might just keep this on. Cause it's not like, I don't think where we're going isn't like super fancy. And this I feel like it's still very appropriate. So, but yeah, let's go. house to drop Louie off and you guys the coffee shop that I go to is at um, where I showed you guys I had been going before I actually moved completely here to um, Dallas and the guy that's when we do it he knows my order knows that I likes it makes it perfect but this girl there the blonde girl there with the short hair the first time she made it for me she had to make it for me for she had to make it for me like three times and it still wasn't good. I was just like, whatever, like, I'm just gonna go. Don't have time to just be sitting here. Then she made it today and it just is giving milky. So I had to come home and put like another espresso shot in it and it's just like, it'll do cause I'm not about to waste. But yeah, I need my guy there. Like, cause I, yeah, I guess she just can't make good ice lattes and I don't like a watered down coffee and I don't like when I can't taste the coffee you know what I mean and I don't like mine super sweet like lately I just get ice latte with honey or agave and cinnamon I don't really do the syrups and if I do syrups here at home they're pretty much sugar free um but yeah so I'm just like girl I'm gonna drink it though because I'm not about to be wasting my money so I came home and put an espresso shot in it but whatever kayla's about to be down to, to, to pick me up also i want to put you guys on to these salt air lippies this is a clear one and this is a little pink when i want a little bit of color i like to mix both or i'll just do the pink on its own but this is what i carry around 24 7 and i really like this one and i also like the k skin um that you can pick up at sephora i really like that one because it has sunscreen in it and i just really like if i had to choose I would say this is like a 8 out of 10 and the K skin one uh, is a 10 out of 10 for me and I just I just I don't know this is like a lip oil so it's not as thick as the K skin one so yeah I, I don't think you can get these in store I remember I think I had bought one of these in store in Target years ago and they never came back in store so I went and re uh, purchased my deodorant salt air because I am obsessed with these salt air serum deodorant like i live by this 10 out of 10 i don't even smell y'all like i could literally be outside in this dallas heat all day and i'm not smelling i'm not smelling at all like not a smell and i love the um the one with the tan top it's like the i forgot which scent it is but you guys i it's 10 out of 10 and I was a gel girl, so this is like up my alley too. But when I tell you, and it also helps with darkness, I'm not like, a, I don't really have darkness under my arms, but I feel like it definitely would prevent if I end up getting any darkness. Um, and I did have darkness at one point, cause I think, um, I don't know what happened, but something like had burned me. I don't know if it was a deodorant I used or something, but I ended up just using the, um, the uh, orange soap, what is it called? The lightning orange soap I got off Amazon did that every day for like two weeks. Darkness gone. Okay, so if you want your darkness gone, make sure you use that soap. I know y'all know what I'm talking about, but I will leave the lit links for these and the deodorants down in the description. 10 out of 10, you guys. I am a girl who likes to smell good. I don't like no type of funk. None of that. And that deodorant is great. 
I was using Secret, the gel one was great for me too, but it was something about this serum one that was like 11 out of, 11 out of 10, okay? So yeah, we're about to go to this area called Greenville Avenue, which I had went over there the other day to go to a Trader Joe's. And then I noticed they had all these cute little restaurants and things over there, wine bars. And she hit me up today, was like, do you wanna go there? And I was like, oh, what a coincidence. I was just over there and was like, we have to come here. So we're about to head over there um, for lunch. It is currently noon and yeah, we're gonna do that. And yeah. Sorry, baby, gotta go. Love you. <laughs> But let's go, y'all. She's probably downstairs and texting me already. So we made it over here, y'all. We're trying to get into the parking spot, though. I just I gotta get closer to this. My, uh, my lips don't need that. I hate when I drop stuff in the cracks of the car. Nutriment and spirit seem contradicting, don't it? <laughs> what does nutriment mean? I would think nourishing. Things. Yeah, that's what I would think. Damn. Yeah. Uh, this is annoying. So yeah, we're over here in this cute little area. Um, my my little friend in the front of my building, well, that works in leasing office. She told me uh, about well, she was I was asking her about like has she been here? She says yeah, she comes here all the time, especially like on the weekends. But yeah, it's called Greenville Avenue, and they have a whole bunch of little shops and food areas if she needs ice cream, wine bars, little bars. Super cute. Jenny's is really goaded. So yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. My girl parking. Not a pull in this thing. You know, I feel like a lot of girls can't parallel park, and I take pride in that because I'm a great parallel parker. Yeah, as long as you know the trick. You know? But I can do it like once, like. Me too, like this. But yeah. I couldn't have done it without being able to get that close right. to this car. Right, right, right. No, some people really won't park because they can't parallel park, and I'm I like, know. girl, it's time to grow up. But I also I heard. Like my dad taught me. But I also heard in some states, tell me if it's true or not, which I think I've heard, that some states driving tests don't make you parallel park. No, no. I Mine think did. I definitely had to do in Florida. You was in Florida, right? No, I was in Virginia. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Up north, you gotta be able. Bro, when I was in D.C., what's the name? Who oh, then that's. And when I say. I feel like people in New York and D.C. and those places, they really know how to parallel park. Because it's like, well, you got to do that a lot. But it'd be bumper to, to bumper. bumper. And I'm like, how do you plan on getting out? No, because when I do parallel park, I always kind of back up a little bit more. Yeah. So I, just in case, like, I have the room. Yeah. But I'm a parallel parker girl. girl. Any shades in and I can do it. Okay. Oh, got about my little coffee. Girl. These Shanice shades. Let me see what she I went back. She and the girl with. with the blonde that messed up my coffee the last time was there. And it's, working with. It wasn't working with nothing again. <laughs> Let me see. Put them on. Let me see. Let me see. Put them on. And show them. <laughs> oh. Let me not do my girl like that. These ain't personally my style, but <laughs> I wouldn't really wear these. Mm. Mm. What shape is that? Oh, octagon <laughs> and see through. It's crazy. Shanice, I'm going to buy you some birthday shades. My girl. I ain't seen a pair of Ray Bans in so long. I'm not judging. Because I, I definitely used to have me some Ray Bans. I don't got no shades in here. All right, I'm thugging it. Well, I got mine. I definitely be keeping my, me a pair in my purse. I do. And well, in my car, typically. I gotta take that back when I drop you off. You know, Girl, you've been saying that since you've been saying that since I moved here. It's been a week. Well, no, since before I, said, I moved here too. But they said no. I I did the stuff to return it. Oh. I, got the code, I just gotta drop. Oh, it. okay, gotcha. But that gave me. Mm. So yeah, yeah, we're about to go over here. It's so cute over here. They have this, they have this little vintage store right there called Second Street. I think that's a fortune house place right there. Where? Oh yeah, probably. She said that's really good. Everybody talks about it. Well. I like my new shoes. They, didn't, they was trying to hate on me. I'm not the biggest fan. So you still don't like them? Uh-uh. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what the back of them is doing. <laughs> it gives like planetary, like it's given space shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look. Oh yeah. This is like I saw this. The planting hand. Someone is cute today. Let's. Someone is looking cute today. Let's add a plant. What are you doing? Are you plant stuff? I Those? think you can make a plant and maybe eat cocktails or something. Me, it's <laughs> well, I think this is fortune. Double dough ice cream. Oh, brown sugar crusted. This has got to oh be fortune because look at the food. 
what chocolate chip cookie cookie dough um mm. i don't need none of that mm -mm. right now i'm trying to yeah my two weeks of low carbs has definitely taken a lot of bloating away yeah so, right. love that for you can we just try this yeah we can fortune house yep yeah. that's it everybody's gonna say okay cool little patty let's do fortune house So cute. Oh yeah, see what our fortune says. Oh, you put your own. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll pick my own. I ain't even really doing it. Well, I didn't want to grab the one that you, this one's broken already. It's not giving me good luck. Okay. Ready? Like, I need to figure out his work days. Good fortune. All right, let's see y'all. Come right here, look at it. Make it see you. All right. Should I go first? You can do that I'm not gonna eat it. Me either. <laughs> I never do. Wait until she got her stuff. This stuff. Is this a bird? Is it? It is. Wow, that is so on time. What does it say? Your talents will be recognized and suitably rewarded. Mm. Like that. Yeah. I gotta take a picture of this. Okay. Oh, so here you go. This oh. is the password. Okay, let me take a picture of it. Um, do you guys want me to wipe down your table? Sure, yes. that would be nice. Okay, let's see what mine says. Do you guys see YouTube? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. Can you do it? Yes. Nice. How is it? I love it. Nice. Yeah. Um, what type of videos do you do? Um, I do lifestyle pretty much right now. Just a whole bunch of lifestyle. Nice. Yeah. That's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, is that your only only job? Yeah, content creation. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and then your show would be right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, an interesting sports opportunity is in your near future. What sport? <laughs> what sport you think? Am I about to be back working out? Is that Maybe sport? you'll marry an athlete. <laughs> I could be that too. You know what? I love how you think. A sports opportunity. <laughs> Maybe you'll do something. Maybe they'll call you and you can have like some type of like thing you're doing, like a brand or something that's with a sports brand, like Nike or something. Could be. That could also be something. It could be a lot of things actually like a, did you take this off yours i just did yesterday because it was like peeling off i was like what is this thing? okay so it could be i think i like that maybe a brand is yeah gonna reach out to me i don't know about that you never know what the future holds <laughs> well then that was fine we should get did another one on the way out <laughs> yeah i'm like i need that good luck whatever y'all got in that pot up there okay Got some egg, no, hot and sa sour soup, crab wontons, and then I ordered General's House chicken, General So. She got sesame. We got fried rice. Stuff like that. So I'm like, and what else? Glass of rose. She got riesling. Do your insides good? Oh yeah. Some the rose. Yeah. There. Thank you. Yes, excuse my reach here. Thank you. No reason. Cheers. Um, I haven't been into reasons anymore. Wow. Too sweet. I've been a Savion girl. Double on. Yeah, I've been a Savion girl. So good. Rose is a good one during the day. I used to drink a lot of rose sparkling back in the day.
Interesting taste. Very good. Mm -hmm. I never really had this soup, to be honest. You got tofu in yours? Mm -hmm. Me either. I've had sweet and sour soup. Not that I'm thinking about it. Not hot and sour. I don't like the texture of this. <laughs> it's like gooey. Not the biggest fan of it. Should have went with the eggs. Yeah, I like eggs. <laughs> yeah. I like eggs. Every time I think about eggs, I really think about growing up that Amanda show when that girl used to be in the bathroom. Like, I like eggs with the teeth. <laughs> I don't remember that. Let <laughs> me show you. <laughs> what the heck? You're gonna you die know, laughing with you know. me. No. I love. Like, when I used to work in the mall, they had a little like, tiny spot. On my lunch break, I would literally go and just get these in the tiny spot. Oh, these? When I used crab to work in the mall. Mm -hmm. One thing about it, I love a good crab. Uh, I love Asian. It. Let me show you this though. Let's see if you, if you have this childhood. I don't remember Debbie off that Amanda show. In the bathroom. I'm Amber, and I'm ridiculously popular. <laughs> My name's Sheila. Do not upset me. My name's Tammy. I'm an exchange student from Tennessee. I like eggs. Wow, that girl looks just like me. <laughs> Debbie, that is you. That's your reflection. I like eggs. You never used to see that growing up. I probably just didn't stand out to me. Girl, it was all the time. I used to watch um, Keenan and Kellen that made the me show all the time, but yeah. Oh, those are good. Mm-hmm. Perfect crunch, perfect softness. It's only crunchy on the um, I like how, and I like how it's soft in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, they want me over with these. Mm -hmm. My favorite ones are these. It's from 26, 26 size in Atlanta. I never went to the new one in the um, perimeter mall. Oh, I'm in both, but. To this day, I don't think I've had better crab wontons or whatever other than 26. They got that. They got that thing down at. <laughs> Guys, how cute. Look at the colors. I got mine steamed. She got hers. Well, we kind of, she can have one of mine, one of hers, because I wanted to try a fried one. But so I also, bad. I like <laughs> the, um, <laughs> I like the steamed ones also. <laughs> they don't come in no sauce. Mine do. <laughs> no dip. You said like, you wanted I thought the dumplings came with a little something to dump it in. All right, let's see who's on this better. Okay. Taste test. Well, I'm gonna do. Let's do Which this one? one. The white one. The first. white one. Okay. I don't know. One shrimp, one vegetable, one chicken. Let's see. Mm. Well, the sauce is in it. It's good. I really don't need no sauce. <laughs> Did they like oh, the sauce was Yes. Good. I knew there was supposed to be a sauce. Mine go crazy. Is that the same sauce? Mm. These, yeah. But I think that was chicken, right? I was gonna say it's, it tastes like the chicken. Okay. That's soup, y'all. Get another soy sauce. Oh, now you, you got a different sauce. Yes. Which is I know you like that sweet chip. Got chili with ginger, chili oil, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you some soy sauce. Yes, thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, he was gonna get that chili oil. Mm -hmm. You know. Like a little spice. Let's see, what color are you gonna do next? I'm gonna do a little orange one. What he said this one was? Let's guess the meat. What meat you think is in the orange? Um, I feel like pinkish shrimp. I don't know why I feel that way. But. I feel like this might be shrimp. 
Okay, let's see. Mm-mm. Veggie. <laughs> what is it? The cabbage. Mm. It's good though. Mm -hmm. Like the chili oil? It's not too bad, right? Yeah. It's not that spicy. Thank God none of that uh, got on my... I was worried it was. Okay, y'all. Don't you hate when oil kind of trades your clothes and stuff? We ended up at Hyde the Bar here on Greenville Avenue too, where happy we just hours. Um, so ha we just discovered. Well, we didn't discover. We just have not been like much happy girls, happy hour girls. But we're trying to get into that. And happy hour is from three to six, majority places. The wine bar we want to go to next door doesn't open until four, so we gotta find out what their happy hour is. But um. Yeah, we just came here to grab a drink because we do want to check out the Wi-Fi, I think, which opens in 15 minutes. So, yeah, they have ladies' nights here. 6 p.m. it starts. Ladies' night. We won't be here. No. We won't. A little the, past mine. The heat is already draining me. Yeah. Like, I could go for a nap, y'all. Yeah. For real. I could go for a nap. Got my Savi on. She got her Paloma. Here. Second drink. Yeah. Okay. This is very refreshing. Oh, it no, no, no. It's tasty. I'm not telling you to drink it. I'm just saying, see what it tastes like. That's nice. I would love that. If I was drinking hard liquor. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely sweet though too. I can taste the sweetness. It is. But it's like a good balance. Like, yeah. I, don't know, I, really like it. I like that you can still taste alcohol. Third spot. <laughs> what is this? Leela's bar. No, Leela's wine bar. It's so cute in here. We sat inside y'all because it's hot and it's only getting hotter outside. And they also do serve food here. And it's wine. This is the fourth spot. We didn't end up going to staying at the wine bar because they didn't have a happy hour, y'all. It was like a pop-up shop. So we're actually not a wine bar now. Hello. Do you guys have a happy hour right now? We do. Yeah, until 6. Perfect. Happy hour. Yeah. Awesome. I want to sit outside there. Actually. Yeah. Sounds good. Probably that way or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah wherever you'd like. You or you want to sit over there? You can go off the okay. store and you can go down that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What you think? Up to you. You got this thing. Thank you. Perfect. So your wines by the bottle are in there. And for happy hour, it's everything on this menu. And then it's 50% off bottles of sparkling wine. Oh, wow. So this entire first page, the whole by the bottle. Perfect. All those 50% off. Wines by the glass and cocktails are gonna be on the back of the table. Thank you so much. Only the oh, so this whole page is the whole page, yeah. Okay. By the bottle sparkling. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Have your server right over. If you need anything else, I'm Alicia. Okay? All right. Thank you. Great. Ricotta. What is yeah. it? Oh, ricotta. It's whipped ricotta now, but I'm like, where was the goat cheese? And then all I saw was whipped. So I was like, that uh, must be what it is now. But yeah. I know when I was leaving Atlanta, like they were always out of it. They'd be like, we don't have to go oh, anymore yeah. right now. We don't have it. So I was just like, hmm. Well, yeah. hopefully this is just as great. Good. Fabulous. So wait, can we get a little video? Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Are you recording her? Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let me get this on my real new phone. <laughs> that just has an immaculate camera. I just don't even know what it is. Okay. Great. Okay, you can do what you awesome. do now. Thank you. Yeah. So, you get happy hour 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And you can get a bottle for 50% off, but it's only the sparkling ones, right? Yeah. So, if 
you're looking for like a mimosa vibe, Monday through Friday, three to six at Barcelona, you can get a sparkling bottle to juice it off. Which I think is great. Very yeah, full. Cool. <laughs> Very full. Cool. They want you to eat it all at once so you can get the flavor palette. Mm. The olive took over. I'm not interested in that. I'm not gonna eat all of this. Okay. I'm not interested. No, they don't. It's bitter. <laughs> Do pickles and olives taste the same or similar? I think not. Mm. Oh, I have to like clean my palate. <laughs> well, I'm not inviting you. I'm like, this is supposed to be relaxing. I don't have time for the extras. <laughs> I love yoga. Hot yoga? That? Love the yoga. only one I liked was uh, um. You like the lazy yeah, yoga? Yeah, sleep yoga. Yeah. I'm going in the pool. Her pool's warm. And there's a jacuzzi. That's what I'm putting on a one piece. I don't own a big mama. I don't own a one piece. Big mama. Get that big mama. Big mama. Big mama, get that big mom. <laughs> big mama. Shout out to Tight Dallas. <laughs> I know that's Bro, right. but Legree is insane. I, this is gonna be my third month. She looks insane. Yeah, third month consistently in the gym. <laughs> what was the foot with the big crab, crab the crab all, shoes? Y'all like my shoes? No. What are those? You like my shoes? What are those? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> what are those is crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, usually we can play golf in there. Let's see. <laughs> um, in here. We're trying to get our friends to come to my pool so we can just like finish out our night at the pool or the jacuzzi or we'll have both. But our one friend is going grocery shopping. Our other friend is about Girl, to go out of town. Right you have? Yes, I did a talk on here. Been, no, I love how our buildings have those, like where we can like. Yeah, this is not even, we have different floors. No, That's this is y'all, you have great views, yeah, I will say. Good. Like you have great views. This is so nice. I literally sat here and recorded as the sun went down. No, this is so nice. Love it here. I'm about to take a little pic. It's cute. No, the views here are so nice. Look at the sunset. Y'all, look at that. It's beautiful. That is me in the sun. That is how I look. If I was the sun, this would be me. This is your first time when we bring you up here, right? No, they gave me a tour before, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So me and my honey, <laughs> we are just chilling. I'm actually about to take him to go out um, to the dog park for a bit before I go down to the pool. Cause I didn't get to go to the pool yesterday to get a tan. Um, after our activities, our Louis, <laughs> after our um, happy hour festivities yesterday, it was such so fun, great talks, things like that. Um, we ended up meeting up with two of our friends here that Kayla actually Kayla actually introduced me. Oh, well, I told you about the two, I believe. And like I had, me and Kayla had both met this girl named Jazz um, over Memorial weekend. So her and one of Kayla's friends came over to my house and we went and chilled in the jacuzzi that evening, uh, yesterday evening, and just had like a little girl's night. Um, so that was fun. Um, came back upstairs, y'all took a shower, and I passed out and went to sleep. I was tired. So, um, yeah, I'm about to make me an iced coffee. I'm gonna make my own today. Make my own. And um, then I'm gonna go down to the pool for a little bit, catch a little tan. And then my building is having an event tonight. Um, I believe it's like some type of like sushi, I believe, type of event they're having here. Um, they're gonna have sake, things like that as well. So I'm excited about that. That's at six and I'll also be able to kind of see who else lives in the building and meet more people. So I'm excited about that. I'm deciding if I am gonna bring you guys. Um, maybe just do little snippets because, um, you know, 
just for privacy reasons. Um, and not sure if you know they would want to really be on camera either, but I'll show you guys a little bit. But I'm so I'm about to take my baby to the little dog park real quick, get him out before I have my fun at the pool, and because um, I can't take him down there with me. But he's been going a lot of places with me, y'all. Um, now that we are living our city life, they um, allow dogs a lot of places, especially here in Dallas. I feel like they're very dog friendly here. Um, he's been very much getting out of the house but it's just so hot and I he out there like because <sighs> it's so hot but yeah I'm about to make my coffee I'm gonna do that and then take my honey out I'm gonna pop back in because I know I just kind of went off the camera yesterday but we had a great time we are about to be happy hour gals okay <laughs> so I've showered washed my hair and did my skincare routine so that is done. I have me some tea. How cute is this mug, you guys? I got this mug from Home Goods. So cute. I had another one, but it broke. It broke. So it is currently 5:13, and the dinner here is at six. So I'm gonna get ready at like 5:30, so in about 15 minutes. I don't even think I'm really gonna put on any makeup. I'm gonna put on like this dress I got from Target that I showed you guys, like the tan one um and then probably just throw on like my gold uh tom ford lock heels and yeah go eat because i'm so hungry all i ate today was a piece of cake that we got from barcelona yesterday the olive salt cake which is so good from there if you've ever had it it's so good and if you haven't make sure you try it if you go to barcelona it's the olive salt cake so good so yeah, I'm about to get on my laptop real quick, kill some time, and then get ready and get up to go to the little dinner. Okay guys, I don't know what I just got water from or something on this, but that's not okay. Anyways, I'm about to head down stairs. This is the outfit. Here's the shoes. Yeah, so I'm about to head down there. This didn't do much. Put a little blush on and concealer, but that's it. So let's go ahead and head down and meet some of my neighbors. <laughs> so cute. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, one more time. Here we go. Yay. I'm back home. And y'all, I had to come up here and take another shower. The way I was sweating out there in that dress was not a good idea to wear. Cause I was sweating. I was sweating so bad. And that dress was that, you guys saw the dress. And the sweat just, y'all, it, it was not good. It was not cute. I had to come back and take a shower. So I'm out of the shower and just took Louie out. And I have a lot to chill for the rest of the night. So let's turn this one off. So yeah, I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow. Um, I think we're gonna actually probably leave the house tomorrow and see what other things I can find for the house. Um, kind of just go with the flow. I'm still deciding if I'm gonna work out tomorrow in my gym or I'm gonna take a Pilates class or a Ligurie class. I'm just deciding still. But yeah, dinner was good. Um, the rice was, the food was really good. The hibachi, I haven't had hibachi in a long time and I haven't eaten all day. So I don't know if it was cause I was literally hungry or it was actually good. Everybody is so nice. I'm glad I went just to, you know, kind of see who's living here right now um, and meet the people. Everyone's really nice. Uh, so yeah, I was just down there for a little bit. Came upstairs, took a shower, cause it was, yeah. We are about to be chilling. Literally had to do my whole skincare routine over and again because I put on a little bit of concealer and blush, and even though it wasn't like heavy makeup, I'm still like, I was sweating out there. I don't play about my skin, y'all. So I did the whole skincare routine over again. Everything, a whole shower skincare routine. Okay. So it is currently about to be 7.30. So I'm definitely going to be watching Love Island USA. I'm a little late to it, but it's got me to And girl, okay. So yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, happy Friday. I look like just a few seconds ago, but I did not have these clothes on. So we are re-wearing, okay? And like I said, I still have to unbox and organize my clothes, okay? So, yes. Anywho, I'm about to run out and I'm in the mood to do some more home decor 
pieces shopping i want to go to anthropology because they be having some cute little home finds it's like it's very expensive there but there's these certain cups i saw online that i want to see if they have in store and just maybe some other little pieces and i want to stop at home goods um where else i want to go to diptyque because i want to get like a room spray and he's he's tired um louis you just give people a key. <laughs> Living in a building, any noise he hears, he's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> Hey, I'm I'm trying to talk here. Can you be can you have manners, please? Go, go lay down. Hey, lay down. So anywho, we have just been sitting here chilling, trying to get our energy back because our son took us out from our little coffee walk this morning. We did a 10 minute walk to the coffee shop, sat there for a little bit, uh, maybe like sat there for like 10 minutes, and then we walked back. So we got a little 20 minute walk in today. Um, I would say we left here around like 10 and it's not even noon yet, but um, yeah. So I'm about to head out and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. We're about, I'm about to, <laughs> I am a, I'm about to head out, but I'm gonna bring y'all with me today. So I'm at the North Park Mall, I believe this what it's called. This is where Diptyque is, so this is my first stop. Hopefully, I don't overspend. Okay, so I went into other stores and now I'm in Macy's because I wanted to get the. I'm trying to see if I, if I like it. Too bad, guys. I just cut you off, but I did not get that perfume. I don't know if I like that perfume, y'all. So I didn't get it for 150. I'm like, do I like it? Does it smell like grandma? But now it doesn't really smell bad on my wrist. But yeah, I got the cups from Anthropology. I'll show you guys. And then I stopped in Zara. Of course I did. Spent 350 in there. That was not the plan. But I'm about to go into Home Goods. So I'm looking for a certain type of candles. So I shouldn't even be here because I don't spend all my money in Zara. <laughs> So I'm back home and I'm about to take a shower and get dressed because I'm meeting Caleb for happy hour again, y'all. Um, I also went to Sephora and got a few things. I wanted to try the new um, the new Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint by Charlotte Tilbury. I got mine in the shade 12.5 tan because I feel like I'm pretty tan right now. I also picked up the K. Ali Young Pistachio Gelato Travel Size. This smells so good. And I feel like they never have the big size, but I'm totally, I'm totally okay with travel size because y'all, I have so many perfumes. This is just gonna be great to travel with, especially to keep my in my purse here in Dallas because it's so hot and you're gonna need to spray yourself. Um, I picked up a blush from Nars in the shade Torrid, which is a really nice, like peachy, golden type of like I feel like a shimmery type of um, blush. Great for the summer. I also picked up the Travel Size Airbrush Finish Flawless Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know where mine went, so I needed to get a new one. I also picked up the Makeup by Mario uh, Soft Sculpt Bronzing and Shaping Serum. I've been wanting to try this, and I got this in medium dark. I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. I heard this is pretty good in full coverage. I got it in the shade 13. And I also picked up some new lip liners. Well, only one new. I got another Endless Cacao, Cacao by Makeup Forever. Such a great lip shade. Like, it's so worth the hype. Everybody's been talking about it. I got another one just to have because every time I want to use it, it's like in a purse. So I just need to keep one for like, just to have another one. I also picked up this new shade, Wherever Walnut. I never tried this shade, but I have caffeine. It's either called caffeine anywhere or everywhere. I have that one, that's one of my favorite shades by Makeup Forever as well. So this is a new shade I have not tried. And I picked up this Gwen Stefani Pout to Get Real Overlining Lip Pencil in the shade Do Whatever. This is my go-to for like an everyday lip liner when I do a super light makeup look. This is really, really good, I really love this. It's probably my third or fourth one that I've purchased and they were 30% off. The lip glosses from her line is great as well. Don't sleep on her line. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So I'm gonna use some of the makeup products. I'm gonna use some of the makeup products that I got um, today when I get ready. But I also wanna show you guys what I got from Zara. Uh, I got this, this top was on sale. 
for like $9.99. And I kind of like how it was like v-necked. I don't know how it's going to be like with the bra strap. I, didn't, I don't be trying on this already, y'all. I come home and take things back if it does not work. Um, so this is what this is giving. Is it giving? I don't know. I feel like it's not bad for a $10 shirt. And it has to be in the back as well. And then I also got this tank, which has like little gold-ish specks on it. Just got this like brownish tank. I just love tank tops, especially just to throw on. I also picked up this tank as well super cute that i feel like i can like dress up or if i want to just be chill but kind of look like i tried a little bit this is really cute i got these linen pants i did not know they were that much until i got to the register but they were 109 dollars i got these in a size large and they do come with drawstrings super cute i actually might throw these on today to meet up with kayla I got this just plain like white tee, but the arms are kind of like, I don't know how to explain the arms, but got this and a size small. And then this was a really cute top. I think it like this part is like ties around your neck, which I feel like would be super cute. Like I really just think this is such a pretty top. So cute. But okay, y'all, I'm about to get ready. All right, guys, I'm ready. Something super chill. I just have on this dress that I think I got from, oh yeah, I think Mango. And then I just have on my Hermes slides. Some uh, Hermes candy, arm candy. But yeah, I did a little makeup video for this look on TikTok. I kind of just was trying out the new products and I will say, you guys, I will say that the Makeup Forever I mean, the Charlotte Tilbury skin was too dark. It was too orange, so I have to go back and get a different shade. Um, it matched my hand. My hand is always like super more tan than my face. And then the Mario Serum Sculpting Bronzing Bronzer, it was like, I feel like watery and like I wasn't getting pigment. And I feel like my brush was picking it up. So that is going back as well. But um, yeah, if hopefully I think that TikTok, that TikTok should be up. I'll list it down in the link of this video, but Kayla is downstairs picking me up. Just had to let my boo-boo out because we got to do a little walk. Can't just let him out anymore, but let's go. Okay, guys, I got I forgot to tell you, I got Kayla and uh, Chloe a gift. Look at the bag. Not, did I say Chloe or Louie? Chloe. Okay, here you go. <laughs> You're really funny. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. They're so hilarious. I she likes those. Oh, she's happy. She loves these. Okay. Yeah. But look. Oh, thank you. I know what you, I know why you got that because of our conversation. Yeah, it's like, look. Where is it at? What does it say? There's your hood. <laughs> I cannot. Literally. Y'all, Brie want me in a robe so bad because I love wearing hoodies. She want to be in the house. It's time to, you know, when your man's call, you in a nice little robe. With the hood up? Yeah. Oh, you got a towel up here. Thank you. This is very thoughtful. Like this in our conversation. <laughs> and I really like the bag. I was like, this bag is like perfect. <laughs> Thank you. So We're yeah, my girl. Let's some see. Treats. Let's see if she gonna be in the house with the robe or her hoodie, y'all. I'm a hoodie girl, but you got me a robe with a hoodie, so I can compromise. There we go. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be turning the car. Oh shit. Hi. Thank you. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. This is where we're at, culinary dropout. Yeah. Ooh, y'all, the heat. The heat out here. At what time? Seven. Those are cute. Thanks. Okay. I have the vintage. <laughs> They're cute, I like them. Thanks. Okay. I wear, I'm, I'm gonna go to the rooftop. I never wear these and I bought them. Like, yeah, those are really cute. I need to put these on for summer. I always want to wear these to the <laughs> chairs. Yummy rose. 
We got French 75. This is great. Great vibe, y'all. I like this one. Comfortable. I feel that like if the game was on, I'd be there. Okay. Yeah. We gotta see how the food is. Food is giving a hit on this. I'm not gonna lie. What you think? Yeah, we just have to see how the food is. I don't know. It's not a big menu. It's not a big menu, so... Sometimes that could be good, sometimes it's not. Yeah. We'll let you know. Have you been to croissant yet? We got deviled eggs, popcorn shrimp. Kayla said it's giving cheesecake back cheesecake factory vibes. Y'all going on a date for the first time with cheesecake? Mm -hmm. Um, the type of quality men that I am dating, I don't think we'll take you. What if he wanted to go though? I mean, if he wanted to go, like, <laughs> I want to say, I, I've gone to Cheesecake Factory on my own. Yeah. I just don't think that they would like, be like, hey, you want to go to the Cheesecake Factory? No, I don't think they would, but. Maybe like once we're like, I think if in. I was like having a good, like drunk night and it was like the only thing we could eat. Okay, so what if it was the first date? Yeah, that's what I'm day. saying. Like, let's say we can No, together. like this is planned. Like that's his planned date. No. That's what I'm saying. No, I don't think it'll be planned, but I'm just saying if my first date happened to be that, I wouldn't be oh, upset about no, it. Oh, no, no, no. But from that question, it was definitely a planned date from when they asked. Oh, that question was yeah. on It was definitely like, not how you described it. Like it was on, um, like, we're going to Cheesecake Factory tonight for our first date. I didn't get that vibe because I don't know if you remember even at Miami. It was like, I'm going wherever my niggas take me. Like, That's I what just, I'm saying. It's yeah, different, I, like, I didn't think it gave, like, planned and executed i just think i thought it, that's how they were saying yeah it. and i feel like no no I'm i not wouldn't want to plan an executed date to the cheesecake factory but i also said it really depends where you live true because when i lived depend. in arkansas cheesecake I, factory was like the like fancy restaurant yeah but like i lived in arkansas and an executive could have took me to cheesecake factory because that's all that's there that's what i'm saying yeah, like growing so up I in think virginia it depends. not every city growing has, up in virginia that would have been like a top restaurant to go to. Yeah. Especially back. They only had like one steakhouse probably ever. Like yeah. Even, I don't, I don't even remember if they did have a steakhouse in when I worked for Tyson in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Well, they definitely got some. Yes, thank you. Some. Yeah, uh, my, fir my very first date, if you planned a date, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not going to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> now, if you're my man, we've been dating. You That's even what gotta, I'm saying. You don't even really have to be my man for real. We've been dating for a little bit. Of course, I don't mind going I to ate cheesecake. Everywhere somebody I'm yeah, like, I didn't eat. I didn't eat some places lower than cheesecake. Okay, and I don't mind. But first date, no, no, no ifs ands or but. No. I've asked guys that I've talked to, and they've all said I don't go there. I would never choose that as a first date. Yeah. But like I said. You never know the situation you might be in. You just might be lit. Stuff might be cold. Like, that's different. But very first date, no. Like, this was your plan on what we're doing for our first date? No way. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm about I to just, try this food, though. Yeah. No, no cheesecake. Well, let's see. How's the shrimp? Did you try a piece? Talking about cheesecake. We got cheesecake right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. I like the sauce. Yeah, it's like a spicy little pepper mayo. Hey, Let me tell you, I'm never had double sauce. Double, double the fact that I randomly am getting double eggs twice today, I never really get it. I love double eggs though. Me too. I love double eggs. Look at the eyes, like. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Really good. Chocolate. Double egg. I've never had that, but no. So good, y'all. Chocolate double egg, you had that? Mm -hmm. I've never had that. So good. They always play her songs. I feel like I told her we're on Love Island. Feeling like we're on Love Island. Look at it, y'all. Are we on South Oh yeah, that look like Love Island. Um, 
They only had like a set menu of four drinks, so we came and walked. It's literally a walk from it. But it's so cute. What is this? Paradiso? Paradiso. Paradiso. Try to take it, like, yeah, girl. Don't nobody want your treat. Oh wow! <laughs> and then you got the love, so you can like. It's not in the other hook. Here. My book on the line. Wow, you're not upgraded. You do that. It's cute too, though. Now you look so pretty in it, though. Like it gives, like you know, feminine. <laughs> Is this all? Oh, I like how the little details. She you like, ain't see this when you bought it. <laughs> I just got it, it ordered to me and took it out and put it in the bag. I didn't really oh, look too deep. It? Yeah. Oh, I thought you went in Target and got it. Mm-mm. I ordered it. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. I like that color. I do. It matches my house. Yeah. It's a medium. I didn't you want, want to see the robe that they gave me when I moved in here. They gave you a robe? Yeah. That's nice of them. <laughs> you guys, I am back home. And... A little bit shy of 11 11 30. me and kayla got back to her place at like right before 10. now our other friend wanted to meet her out but she wasn't going to be done and be ready to go there until midnight which is just so late like i left the house around like right before six don't know where to get time for that i am tired and i do have to be up early tomorrow so um yeah uh I'm home, but anyways, I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting today from Anthropology, my cute cups. They're the cutest little things. I've just been into my pinks lately, the light pinks, I should say. And I saw these online and had to get, I only got two because I literally go cup crazy. I'm trying to really be a minimalist, y'all. But how? cute is this it is the cutest cutest i'm trying to get out the frame sets the cutest cup 16 dollars for one um but i just feel like for my ice lattes like it's just so cute so i got two of these and like so you guys can see close up they're just so cute such my vibe um 
love these. They also have like little mushroom ones with like the red mushrooms, but I just got like a a little college even though i'm i don't know i love all the mushrooms like i don't know i love the mushroom look of things but i'm just like it doesn't really go with my aesthetic but i really like the mushrooms but yeah so i got two of these i think they're just so so cute and then i also picked up this days today right here which i think is just such a nice face I got from Home Goods. Um, I don't know. I'm th I want to find like some branches or something to put in here, but it's just so nice, you guys. Look at this. Even the lady when I was walking out, I was like, "Wow, that's so nice." And I literally just found it on a like standalone. It was by itself. Um, but yeah, you guys. And then in Diptyque today, I just got the um boulevard saint germain room spray this is one of my favorite candles from there i have a few favorites in there but this is one of my favorites and i was like "Ooh, they have a room spray so i got this for my bedroom around the house um it smells really good it was like uh, total was 92 dollars so and then they gave me some little samples and I have this little baggie right here that I like to keep. And oh, okay. so again, we'll like this little baggie right here of like all of my sample perfumes. I have a I have a good amount in here, y'all. So um, every time I get samples, I just take them out. And I like to keep these to like throw in my purse. Um, just to keep in all my purses. Because if you are a woman, ladies, you need to always have perfume on you all the time. Okay. So yeah, I just keep these in like this like little floor of mine, just in case I need to grab one. But yeah, y'all, I am about to shower, take this makeup off, wash my face, and get in the bed. I am tired. Like, I'm really tired. My time difference, not I'm gonna say the time difference, the vibe that my body is on right now, I've been tired early, y'all, and I, I'm not complaining. Cause I feel like I've always complained about like my sleep schedule, but y'all, I am loving how I'm tired early because I get up early also with no problem. I begin up before my alarm clock, so yeah. Um, I won't be vlogging for the next few days. I want to give one last thing also before I go to sleep. My hair here in Dallas, like my baby hairs, normally like, normally I wouldn't have to do too much to them. They keep them slicked down. Y'all, I literally have to make sure that I have enough hairspray because the way that like the humidity out here is, is just, I don't know, it's a little different. Like I really don't know what it is, but it's a little different. And normally I'm not gonna lie y'all, a little bit of water, it'd be good. I will say I did wash my hair yesterday so i don't have as many natural oils in it but y'all the bun i need to make sure it's slicked y'all know i love a good slick bun no frizz like it'd be damn near perfect this down this heat y'all that's all i'm gonna say <laughs>
Good morning. So I'm about to make a coffee, but I have been wanting to try this coffee that I saw on TikTok and I finally got my hands on it. Clear. Supposedly it's only sold in Target, so I got two of them just in case I really liked it because I've gone a few times and they were out of stock, but they were fully in stock this time. Hey Google, pause. So this is the coffee um, from Cafe Bucello. Um, I've actually used, I think they're like instant coffee before. Um, this brand just looks really familiar. Now they have a sweet one or they have an unsweet one and this one only has 20 calories, um, no sugars. The other one had like 40 calories I think and like 20 sugar, something sugars. So I'm about to make an iced latte, it's an espresso. Um, but then I also want to show you guys when I'm done what I got from Home Goods yesterday. I spent like $500 on everything that I got. And I wanna show you guys because I found some really, really cute things that I just feel like fit the place, okay? So let's go make this coffee. I'm gonna make a little TikTok too, so it's gonna come out good, okay? Yeah. The way I just neglected y'all is insane. Because how did I have my camera right here and not film it for you guys as well as TikTok? It's okay, I'll insert it right here. I would say, like I was saying on the TikTok, that maybe it's the milk. Maybe because oat milk isn't like really creamy like whole milk. Um, but I feel like I used to get my lattes, even with like cold brews, and I would froth the milk, it would make my coffee like a lot creamier. But I feel like whenever I use like a, just an espresso, even if I make espresso shots from my Nespresso, um, and then make ice latte, latte through there, or even if I just, you know, get like a cold brew that's already made, sorbet, pour it, do my milks, it's still like a little watery. And this gave that too, but I really like the taste of it. I do really like the taste, I just want it creamier. It's just like watered base as well, if that makes sense. Like you coffee lovers know when a coffee is a little watery. It has that taste like a good coffee, 10 out of 10 coffee is like, it's not like a thick, like a, it's just like that perfect, like, I don't know how to explain it, but I know my coffee lovers. Y'all know what a good consistency latte tastes like. But anyways, I used my new cup from Anthropology and my pink straws. Got those off Amazon, super, super cute. Couldn't wait to use it, I was thirsty to use a girl. So yeah, I am uh, about to sit down real quick because I actually have a part two to my vlog I just put out, which you guys are loving. Um, you guys are loving my move and giving me such great feedback. And we, you guys are, you guys have been watching that too. Like I can look at the analytics. We're at 100k. We're at 100k views in two days. Um, I haven't done that in a while, so I'm loving that. Thank you guys so so much. But there is a part two to it that is already um, edited, and then of course I have this vlog that you're now seeing. But um, so you'll be seeing that before you see this. But yeah, thank you guys so so much. I'm just loving my new space. I'm loving it so much and I'm just so grateful. And de decorating is just so fun to me. I get in little moves where I'm like, oh my God, it's a little overwhelming. But once I get out the house and I'm moving and grooving, girl, my interior brain sparks, okay? So yeah, I'm about to sit down and I need to upload it to YouTube, create the thumbnail because I have not done that yet for the vlog prior to this one. And um, <clears throat> Yeah, I just didn't want to put like a whole three hour vlog. Like I've done a two hour one before and you guys liked it. So I was like, I'll give that to you guys again. So this one's only going to be like, I don't even think it's going to be an hour. It's probably going to be only like 45 minutes. So yeah, let's do that. And then I have somewhere to be at 11. And then after that, we got some errands to run. So let's have a great productive day.
Well, good morning, lovelies. I know I'm kind of, well, I did just like abruptly again, just stop my day yesterday on this vlog. But here again, here we are again in the same pajamas because I don't know about y'all, but I wear my pajamas two nights in a row, you know? Um, that's just something I've always done. I think that's just something my mom instilled in me growing up. Um, before I even started doing laundry, my mom's like, you're not wearing new pajamas every night. Like, we're not doing that. So, max twice a night. I mean, twice back to back. I mean, I'm going to sleep. I'm freshly bathed. Like, I'm sleeping. I'm also not a sweater when I go to sleep. I mean, I it'd be different if you're like a sweater and you sweat a lot at night. Um, you know whatever else you got going on, but uh, maybe on your cycle or something. Um, just depends, but I am definitely a two nights in a row girl wearing my PJs, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, so link in description, got these from Amazon. Anyways, it's the next day, guys, as you can tell. Um, I had a meeting this morning with a very exciting brand. I'm so excited to be working with and um, I made my coffee and as y'all see, I did my ice cubes. So I wasn't sure if I was supposed to like mix those ice cubes and regular ice. So I did both and I was like, after I put the two regular ones in there, I was like, mm, probably should have just did just the coffee ones. But you guys, I will say it's getting there. It's getting there. It's definitely less watery than yesterday for sure. Um, like I explained on my TikTok, if you guys saw it, it was just a little watery and I'm not a watery coffee girl. Like I said, my coffee experts, you know, a good quality iced latte isn't watery. So tomorrow I'm going to try it with just the ice cubes and just the espresso, um, liquid from what's the brand called? Cafe, but that brand <laughs> that I used on my TikTok and that I showed you guys yesterday. I'm just gonna do it with the um, ice cubes that I made from that brand and then the coffee and see how that goes. Today I did it with the ice and then I just used espresso shots from my Nespresso. Um, I used the Starbucks pods because I had so many of those. I'm trying to get rid of them and I have to use two because it's only a single shot and when you normally go to get an ice latte anywhere, um, regular size, they give you two espresso shots anyway. So. It's still not giving me that quality of like a creamy latte though. And it's irritating my soul. It really is. But I will say, that cafe, uh, what is that called? Um, let me see. Let me see. The cafe. Hi guys, this is what, and I came across this. The cafe Bustello. Cafe Bustello. That's you guys. When I tell you, people even in the comments said, the girl, I, I drink that. I was up straight. I twitch it for two days. I'm not saying I had like, I twitch it and, and like, I was just all over the place like that. But I was definitely, I definitely, I definitely felt up and awake throughout the day more than normal. I felt like, I'm like, am I like this? Because I read the comments. It's just my thing. But no, I really think that it's super strong. Like a lot of people had said how strong it is. Girl, I felt like, oh, this is exactly what I need. Like, I always say I'm a coffee person where I like the taste. I wake up in the morning to make the coffee. Um, and I just like the taste of it. But, you know, when I, some days I'm like, oh, I could use a coffee. Like I am, you know, tired. But, um, you know, I've gotten to like, I don't drink coffee every single day. But nine times out of ten, I am drinking more out of the week than I'm not. And I just enjoy the coffee. I love the taste. I enjoy making it. I enjoy going to get a latte. I enjoy having it in my hand. I enjoy the whole experience of a nice latte, okay? Or a latte in general. But um, I will say it's strong. And it definitely had me up, had me energized, had me, like, conquered to get the day done. Now yesterday, let's get back to yesterday. Intentions of leaving my house to go on errands. And then I ended up with a friend and we ended up just kicking it throughout the day. And I'm just like, I need to go run these errands and it just didn't happen. Like, I'm like, I need to go run these errands. So yeah, my whole day just, by the time I got home, 
it was already like dinner time the sun was almost about to set i had made me just a little trader joe's penne pasta red sauce pasta um watched a little show on netflix i'm watching love island right now which is tea girl and i'm also watching um this one movie on netflix called desperate lies yes girl so yeah love island usa and desperate lies i'm watching on netflix but um yeah so yesterday scratch uh, start again today we're gonna go in today with the intentions we had yesterday so it is 10 30 i'm about to drink my coffee and enjoy my silence my little zen moment right in my journal um you know read my devotional and take my time and we'll get ready for the day i want to be out of the house by like 11 30 11 45 because i do have an appointment at 12 and it's really close to my house so yeah um that is what i wanted to let you guys know uh, we need to call this coffee morning talks or coffee talk mornings or coffee talk coffee talk i don't know but anyway we're, we're getting there did i lose my touch in making lattes that's all i want to know did i lose my touch in making lattes okay we are going to the chris brown concert tomorrow because it's friday and he's coming his first night is tonight but I'm gonna go on saturday so we are going to the concert tomorrow um and i'm inviting a few of my um friends because i got some i received some tickets no i did not receive them directly from chris brown okay <laughs> i received a few tickets so i'm gonna take a few of my friends um kayla i'm gonna take um my friend here sib that i met one time out here um when me and kayla were out one night we randomly just met these girls and they're just so nice and i stayed in touch with um two of them so sib is one of them that i really i really that's my girl so i'm inviting her to come so that's pretty much it nail appointment at 12 but this is what this is this is why i came back up here girl be all over the place let me show you guys what i got from Home goods. Got these picture frames right here. I got four of them, okay? They were $14.99 a piece, which I feel like is a great deal. Eight by 10 frames, okay? And I love this like charcoal gray color and the white color. I really, as you guys see, I'm going for like darker, you know, darker, darker themes up in here, okay? What I'm gonna do is, like I said, I have two more. I wanna put them right here on this wall. So I wanna do like, you know, and I wanted to do like black, white, black, white. And I did that because I feel like if I use, if I used, if I used the own, like all the black, I just feel like it, it would just be a little bit too much darkness right here. And I already have like, you know, darker themed items, furniture in, in this room. So I want to separate it and I feel like it will give it a nice little accent, a nice little accent wall area. Yeah, I have to go to... Like, I can get it at, like, Target if I make a stop there today. Ask them, because I know it's something that can be done where I, because it's a regular picture frame. Like, it has the regular stand on the back of it, like this. But I know there's a way that I can make it into a a wall frame where I can hook it and hang it up on the wall. That's one of my things I want to do today, and that's, like, a DIY I want to do. What else did I get? Um, I don't know if I've showed you guys, but I think I did. Um, I did my candle last night, so I need to refill it. But I got this from Home Goods, and I put a little tea light in there. It's so beautiful. I wish they had another one because I want one for like my bedroom or like my entryway. That is what I've been on a mission when I go to Home Goods. I want another one of these, y'all. And I already told you guys I got this from Home Goods. Such a steal, such a vibe. I love this. I put some hydrangeas, as y'all know, in this the other day from Trader Joe's, but I want to go to West Elm today and find like actual like these brown like type of sticks or something that I can just have in here that'll stick out so I don't always have to put, you know, water in here and new plants. Like I just want this to be like a a decor piece that kind of just is its own little thing. You know what I mean? I picked up these plastic bowls. I picked up these plastic bowls because I think I showed y'all the glass ones I got off of Amazon that were like, that are nude, but they're glass. So I want to have plastic ones like if I need to take these on the go or something. Y'all, how cute are these salad bowl mixers? Crazy thing is I wanted to, I've never had a salad bowl mixer and I was like, I want to get some for my new place. 
and I looked on Amazon, didn't really find any. I was like, let me just, uh, if I find some, I'll find some, but I'm not in the biggest rush to find salad bowl mixers. Y'all, these are just literally laid somewhere in Home Goods. I said, absolutely yes. I think they were $9.99. I said, absolutely lit. yes. These are literally stunning, okay? Stunning. I picked this up. Super cute. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but once I get my dresser and things for my bedroom, cause I wanna get a dresser here and I also want to put something right here. Um, that's gonna go somewhere. But I got this whole little stand, how cute. I got this mirror cause I am doing my makeup videos here in my, I do my makeup videos in my bathroom sometimes and I've been using my handy dandy Ikea mirror that I've had literally since I first started YouTube, y'all. <laughs> um, but I don't wanna like keep that here. I want to be able to keep it in the beauty room so got this for in here and it's also like just a great decor i picked this spray up for decor but it also smells great i got another one of those picture frames but this is a smaller size guys i'm about to head out to my nail appointment and always have to take my handy dandy water and then today's outfit is very simple you guys i don't know if you guys have been getting ads from like joa brown or i believe that's the name for like these tanks, girl, got it off Amazon because they're expensive. For one of these, I think they were like $78 or something like this. Girl, I think I got this for like 18, less than $20, I believe. Size so small, I got it in black too. I ordered both of those colors. They have so many colors, but I only ordered both of those because I didn't know how they were gonna fit. Girl, great quality. Okay, then I have on these pants that I had gotten Lebanon. If you guys seen the TikTok of me, it came with a robe. So I think they're like pajama pants, but I'm like, why not make them into pants? Just put on my Hermes slides. Got my everyday handy dandy go yard bag. I wear this down, girl. And then, some lip balm. And then, we're out of here. Let's go get our nails done. Good secure. Got some batteries for some candles in my bathroom that need batteries also. Um, got the bubbly brand cherry sparkling water and then I also got some poppies because they were I want my four get one.
Good morning. So yesterday, <laughs> don't mind the vlogging, okay? Don't mind, don't mind the just end of the days, okay? Don't mind it. But today is Chris Brown concert, and like I said, I'm still unboxing clothes and stuff, and I just feel like that gives me a reason to have to go let's see if I can find an outfit to purchase today for the Chris Brown outfit for the Chris Brown concert. So I'm about to leave the house and get me some coffee i'm gonna go to neiman marcus see what they have in there there's this other store that i want to go to that's kind of like a designer store but it has like a lot of designers i forgot what it's called but it has like all the designers in one it's kind of like a webster but like a little more fancier when it comes to like how it looks on the inside um and then i still have to get certain things that i need that i didn't get yesterday which is the hooks and things that i need for um the hooks and things that i need for um my picture frames and i never made it to home goods yesterday i feel like i was out all day yesterday and i pretty much got everything done except for home goods and going to get the hooks for the picture frames which i could have got at target that i completely forgot about so yeah i'm gonna do that concert it starts at 7 30 and who i'm going with they're all gonna meet me here at my place around like 6 6 15 and i told them that time just in case People are running a little bit late, knowing me. Also, um, and it's also like 30 minutes away, the um, arena that he's having the concert at. So we're all just gonna take a chuck there and vibe out. Nobody has to drive. And today's outfit of the day is very simple. I actually got, this is the, like the shirt I had on yesterday from Amazon. Girl, I'm obsessed, I need every color. And then I have on these, pants flowy pants i've just been into just flowy stuff stuff that's not tight i haven't even really been wanting to wear work off workout type of outfits really just because i kind of just don't want to accentuate my body as much so i picked these up from zara yesterday these are one of the purchases that i got from zara yesterday so i will show you guys what i got from zara um later on today when i get back home before i start getting ready i got a couple of things i kind of tried them on when i got home yesterday just to fill out Sorry, I didn't film that for y'all, but so love these pants. I did not intend on putting these on today or wearing it with this top, but I just wanted to throw something on. This is right there. It was all out, you know, because right now my clothes are very limited. I've been washing clothes that I've been wearing that are just comfortable to me until my closet is actually organized. So I was like, let me just throw these on. I'm gonna wear my tan or my sandals and I'm gonna put on my billiard bag. Let's go and get some coffee and start our Saturday. It's a nice day out. Hi, Molly. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, you okay? yesterday for the house like the the um the hooks for the picture frames and i didn't make it back to home because to see if that other table you know the marble one if it's still there then maybe it's meant to be so yeah but i'm yeah that's what i'm doing today it's such a hmm? thank you Thank you. I got them done yesterday. Like this color, the length. Yeah. Really? Thank you. You at your coffee shop at that place? No, this, but I haven't tried this one, so. Just trying all the coffee shops. I got honey and lavender in this one. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Lavender. 
said. Okay. Yeah. So, any plans today? No, I'm about to, um, I'm about to run out and grab me these olives. Mm-hmm. You said some olive branches? No, just olives. Mm-hmm. And Chanel, do we like these? Do we like? They're cute. Cops that are all set. Bitches in my old phone. But she called when it go home. I've been in this club too long. The woman that I would try is happy with a good guy. But I've been drinking so much. I'ma call her and you say, fuck that nigga. after the Chris Brown concert, having a relaxing day with my girl Kayla, so. Hello guys, happy Sunday. <laughs> Let's go. We changed into our bikini. Well, she got a bikini, I got on this one piece. And here's the little locker room. Go to a clammy on arguments you hurt me on Trip about your whereabouts and I can keep no conflict with you What can we just rub it out? I don't want no sad to get you You know you want to and I can't shake this habit No I've been out baby Baby reminiscing Baby I'm a missing I'm wishing with TV and what it was Like this, what I would do to make you feel just like this. And if you want it, 
me You used to be your rider, you meant to handle me You used to be no violent to you, ambush me Now I'm at your violent with you Now I'm at your solid tree You left me no permission, no permission Never get more you Switch positions Hard to say you're so You don't have to listen, no, no Hopping up, baby Let me reminisce We got mimosas. They said it's mango. Thank you. Is it mango? I literally looked that man in his face and said, Cheers. so this is mango. He said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, if I was the server, I would literally do the same thing because I'm not taking that. <laughs> is it mango? This is nice. Yeah, and it's not super spritzy. Uh -oh. Someone, we gotta just literally walk oh, down. I hated it earlier. I hated <laughs> You're it. You're coming from the hot. Look, you have to it's get, gonna be you have more to get cold, it. Get, no, like, get your head underwater. That's the only way to do it. Y'all ready? Look, Blake. Come on. Come on. Look, you're gonna have to get in. Like, <laughs> oh, it sucks so bad. And then you gotta jump. Once you jump, it's in. You ready? Ready? No, no. Hey, Woo! Just, Woo! Look. There it is. Woo! Ooh, wait a minute. No, oh, get down and grab the pole. Get down and grab the pole. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get down and grab the pole. Once you're down, you're good. Come on, get down and grab the pole. There you go, grab the pole, grab the pole. Ah, it's a suck. Okay, okay. Come on. You did great. Good, get, 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 get down on your shoulders. Good, get up, grab the pole. Just grab the pole, both hands. That's all you gotta do. Get down, get down, get down. You're good, you're good. You got it. You got it, girl. Just stay down. Grab the pole. Just that's all you can do. Is... You got. You got like a. You got another two minutes. Oh no. Oh, you're good. No. Hold on. Oh no. Grab the pole. That's it. Just, just like it's gonna suck. You're good. Quit moving. Dude, you move. It gets colder. Fuck. It sucks. <laughs> stay down. Just grab the pole. Hey, look. Look. Grab the pole and pull yourself down. You can do it. How long is it? Oh, I feel good. Oh, that was probably like literally. It was 45 seconds. You move your hands and so fucking old. Me. Wow. No, you really did. I did it. I feel better. I feel great. I did it. You still got to get there. She said, no way. Why didn't I tell us to the cell phone while she just what I needed to start my week. We've been here like four hours. Our reservation was at three. And they have a three hour time limit here. We're like, how would they check that? We've been here for four hours, almost five. Yeah, I think you a stranger, yeah. Very last I played like that. Call your boys, I'm getting back that. Faded up to 42, gorgeous to important blue. Dream inside the roll up, hold up. Watch me go up, leave me so stuck. I'm back at my better day.
that's a wrap here at World Spring. Look at the beautiful Ferris wheel back there. Definitely give this place a good 8, 9 out of 10. What do you rate it here? Huh? What do you rate it here? Huh? What do you rate it here? Oh, 10 out of 10? Yeah, she said, oh, the wig came off. <laughs> and it did. We was floating, y'all having a grand old time. I'm like, well, I'm like, girl, you got a whole pixie. You better take that thing <laughs> right. off. Right. So, 